So about 30 seconds ago I filmed the outro to yesterday's video. It's technically the same day, I mean, who's counting? I'm confused with this daily vlogging shit, it really throws me off. But regardless, today we're going to have to edit the video you've watched today, or yesterday, or... I, I don't even know who... What, what, what is happening in the world right now? I mean, Trump's sending airship carriers to North Korea, it's probably going to be the end of the world by the time you watch this, so it doesn't really make any difference. <sighs> I definitely need some sleep though. If there was a poster for always drink responsibly, my face would be it right now. Oh, my head. I've genuinely got the JK shakes, man. What the fuck is my life right now? I, I need to stop drinking. I, I need to stop. Except for we're, we're drinking on Saturday, but th that's but we're not going to drink until Saturday. Right? That's the objective we're setting ourselves. We're going to go for an entire... Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go four days without drinking. That's the goal, right? We'll try and make it. We'll try. It'll, it'll not be that hard. I'm sure we'll manage. You know that way when people think back on the night before when they've been out drinking, and they cringe at all the stupid shit they did. Well, I've got it in video form, and I'm now currently over there trying to edit it for to for yesterday's video. This is so so bad real living what a drunken reprobate you are. It really doesn't help when I'm lying here with a fucking killer air hangover. It's also a really hot day outside as well, man. It's just that fucking burns, get that to fuck. So I'm currently editing the vlog from last night. I, I, I can't even remember recording half this shit. It's one of those things where you just like what the hell was I doing? There's clips of me sitting with a fucking empty case of strong on my head. Oh no, man. <laughs> Apparently I drew this on Gary's board as well. I feel like I'm gonna be here for three weeks trying to edit this video. So I basically just spent most of the afternoon lying on the couch and editing. And lying here feeling sorry for myself. I don't even think I was that drunk last night, was I? Oof. I mean, it's such a good day outside. I need to leave the house. It's gotta be done, like. I mean, just look how warm that looks. So I really need to leave the house. Because it's such a warm day in Scotland today, I decided to take one of the biggest risks of my adult life. I've left the house without a jumper. I know. I can already see all the comments. Batch you, you fucking moron, you raging mad mental bastard leaving the house without a jacket in Scotland. Do you have your fucking nut? But don't worry, I'm not really that bothered if it starts raining, I'll just cycle him rapid. Also, just very briefly while we're on the subject of stupid decisions. Who the fuck thought that that was a good thing to build in the middle of a forest? I mean, look at it, it literally looks like a pair of arse cheeks sticking up at the ground. Probably one of the modern art things. I, I, I don't know. I don't understand modern art. So I was supposed to be getting a haircut because my hair's getting pretty fucking long and I need to get it shortened, but I ended up getting dragged into a call, which overran a bit more than I was anticipating, so I just decided to go for a cycle. And also, what the hell is this? Human sun clock. What the fucking hell? They didn't have to make some shit in the name of modern art, don't they? I'm 100% positive that that old guy that's walking back there, he's a guy in his 60s, was walking along playing fucking Pokemon Go. Jesus Christ, man, what is this disease on society? Here's something interesting for some of you who don't know. That's the Kelpies there. And that's a sewage box. If you ever come to the Kelpies and notice the vague aroma of shit, it's probably not yourself. You've prob well, you, you might have done, but more than likely it's the sewage box. An absolute fucking disgrace. I've never really got the Kelpies either. I mean, it's literally just two horses' heads bringing in hundreds of tourism. I mean, who, who's, who's coming all the way across the world to see two big horses' heads in the ground? I mean, literally, that's all it is, is two horses' heads. We must go and see the eight greatest wonders of the world, the tallest tower of the world, and two horses' heads in Falkirk somewhere. <laughs> fucking shit -hole. Now have I told you I wasn't going to bring a jacket? <laughs> yeah, I regret that decision. <laughs> At this point, I'm pretty sure my testicles have run all the way up to my neck to keep warm. That could be them there. Right, so, I've been up to the Kelpies enough times to realise that they're actually a crock of shit. There's literally nothing here to justify a tourist attraction, especially not for the price that we're paid to get them. They cost millions of pounds to build at the time. I could have just shat in the middle of the ground and gave them better value for money, do you know what I mean? I mean, I do use them as video clickbait, but... Is that enough to justify? People are travelling all over the world to come and see these fucking things. It's just two horses' heads in the ground, surrounded by hundreds of, hundreds of expensive fucking overpriced shops just to rob you of all your cash. I suppose though that is the aim of the tourism game, innit? Bring you across to this country so that you can spend all your money and put it back into our economy. In case you're wondering why I'm walking and not cycling, it's because it's too cold to cycle. The cold breeze turns my nipples sharp enough to cut glass. But aye, the Kelpies, eh? What a load of butter. It's a 
matter of fact, if they put tourist bus around this, this probably would have been a more a cost effective tourist attraction than the Kelpies. Just just bashing the Kelpies like fuck today. Never mind the fact that I cycle with them quite regularly. Let's let's just bash them. Ah, I'm gonna get lynched in the comments. Pizzas are one of the best things in the world for a hangover. I had two. I, I'm genuinely reading a lie doing it at 7 o'clock at night. I'm that rough. I just want to curl up into a wee ball and die. Oh, I'm never drinking again. So I went for a wee nap at about 9 o'clock because I was feeling rougher than a kangaroo with boxing gloves. And I didn't wake up until just after half 11. So I'm just catching up with a few subscriptions and some comments. I'm sorry if I never replied to your comment on yesterday's video, I literally just fell asleep. Massive shout out to everybody who did comment in the last video, much appreciated. Apparently the first episode of the new prison break was on today, I'll need to catch up with that at some point. And when I was out cycling earlier on, I went Ben Halfords and picked up a pair of gloves. Yellow, my favourite colour, apparently. They're fingerless ones that I can use for cycling, so I can still use the camera to vlog whilst I'm out and about on the bike. I've been struggling to decide whether I look like one of the cool BMX guys or a fucking homeless cunt. And the homeless one's not referring to the gloves, it's referring to the length of this fucking hair, it's getting ridiculous, I need to get that cut tomorrow. <sighs> so for any of you wondering why today's vlog's shorter than yesterday's, it's because I spent most of the morning sleeping because I was hungover, then I was editing, and then I fell asleep again because I was still feeling hungover after scalping two Domino's pizzas. Because I'm a greedy bastard. It really doesn't help when we left Big Gary's, it was at 6 o'clock this morning. Still can't believe this is technically the same day. <laughs> I also forgot to mention to you that this morning I ended up having to delete about 100 pictures of somebody's cock from my phone. Uh, I went away to the toilet and what they proceeded to do was take loads and loads of pictures of their dick just to really annoy the shit out of me. The idea being that I would have to delete them all individually, one by one. <sighs> Fucking idiots, man. I think that'll be the last time I'll leave my phone lying about whenever I go on a night out anyway. Just walking around tanning some grapes now because I don't really care what today. <clears throat> Almost midnight on Monday night. I'm not feeling as hungover now. After I went for that little sleep, I feel a wee bit better. But man, I was dying earlier on. Like, I was dying. <laughs> I think that's going to be the hardest part about these daily vlogs. Is that no matter how bad I feel, it's still going to be the case of trying to push through and make another video for the following day. I'm going 16 days without getting so smashed and having a serious hangover. It's going to be difficult. But I'm sure we'll manage, we'll be fine. We managed today anyway, I mean the video's a little bit shorter today, I realise that, but we did manage, we've made a video, we've done something, we've created. But we'll be up earlier tomorrow, this video from tonight has been edited tonight, so I'll have the entire day tomorrow to make an even longer video. We're also going through to Glasgow, we're meeting up with Marley13. I've got a couple of things to do across there, so hopefully tomorrow's vlog should be a bit more exciting. Anyway, I'm now going to go and catch up on some TV and I'm going to go for a sleep. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you all tomorrow at 7pm for the next video. We need a beat.